Hi, I'm Chris with Afflictor, and today I want to talk about what the numbers on the side of your arrow mean. Now, you know, a lot of us that have been in archery for a long time, we're very familiar with those numbers that are inscribed on the side of our arrows or bolts, but we have such a great influx of new archery people that I think it's important uh, to just clarify a few things, especially when it comes to numbers on the side of your arrows, because that's obviously very important, right? So we get a lot of phone calls, a lot of emails um, about what broadheads people should shoot with their setup, and one of the first things that I like to ask ask them is what is your total arrow weight or what is your arrow weight and the first thing they do is they look at their arrow and they say oh it's it's 350 grains or it's 400 grains and I ask them well where are you getting that number well is that is a three-digit number right on the side of my arrow it says 400 well actually if you're seeing a three-digit number anywhere on your arrow it's going to either refer to straightness or spine and mostly it's going to return, refer to spine if it has a number at the very front. So if it says anything like 250, 500, 400, 350, it has a number up front, it's going to be referring to spine. If it has a bunch of zeros in front of it, then it's going to be referring to straightness. So you'll see anything from 0 .001 to 0 .006 and sometimes even greater. But let's talk about spine real quick and why spine is important. So you have these three numbers that will appear on your arrow and people often think it's weight but it is referring to static spine now static spine is another archery equation we have so many of them that they get confusing but it's really simple they take a 29 inch shaft and they suspend it as a bridge between two points 28 inches long so you have a 28 inch section of arrow shaft in the very center they hang an 880 gram weight and they measure the amount that that arrow bends and that's what gives you your static static spine so a 400 spine arrow moved 0.4 inches and when you're looking at that spine number you want to realize that the lower that number is the stiffer your arrow shaft is going to be but it's very important that you know that spine number because you need to have a great idea from your setup, what your draw weight is, your arrow length, your broadhead weight, that all correlates into having the correct spine. Too light of a spine, too heavy a spine, your arrows are not going to go where you want. So make sure that you are referencing the guide that your arrow manufacturer has put out in regards to the proper spine for your setup. Now, another number that you're going to often see is a two-digit number with a decimal in the middle. It'll say 8.9, it'll say, you know, anything point something. That is what actually refers to how heavy your arrow is, what your arrow weighs. So that is grains per inch. So if you see on the side of your arrow where it says 8.9 GPI, that's grains per inch. Multiply that by the length of your arrow and you have your arrow weight. It's nice and simple. It's really easy and that will help you know what those numbers mean. Now some arrows will have a four digit number on it and that's a little bit more complicated but it's common with a lot of manufacturers. This this four digit number will refer to the outer diameter for the first two digits and the wall thickness for the second two digits. So an arrow that would have the number 2216 on it means the first two digits, 22, are 2264 is the outer diameter of that arrow. And the 16 refers to the wall thickness of that arrow. So it's going to be 16 one thousandths or 0 0.016. So basically, in essence, those are the three types of numbers you're going to be looking at. The three digit for spine. You're going to be looking at possibly a number on there for straightness that will start with two zeros and then a single digit. You're going to be looking at some arrows that will have the grains per inch on it. And then you're going to be looking at ones that are going to have the four digit number on it as well. Some of them will have them all. Some of them won't have any and so it can get a little bit confusing but again if you go back to your manufacturer's um, arrow chart you will get all the information you need to make sure that you have the proper arrow for your setup.